When you put someone on notice, to me, that generally means shape up or ship out. I don't know if you agree with that at all, but uh, the Mayor of London, when I was reading, doesn't actually have the authority to hire or fire a Metropolitan Police Commissioner. They're appointed at the behest of the Home Secretary with approval from the Queen. And when they are dismissed, suspended or moved on, it's not the Mayor of London whose job it is to make that happen. So I would like to know what notice Sadiq has actually put her on. Maybe he's uh, given her an invitation to a party in the post or something. I don't know. Put her on notice of that. I, I'm not too sure what he means there. But he seems to be more concerned with misogyny racism and other matters within the police force doesn't he than actually preventing crime and dealing with issues on the streets there's another video i'll bring you later about a confrontation a police officer had with someone with a bleeding gun for crying out loud and all this is going on under his nose yet he's more concerned about culture and anti-racism of course by me purely criticizing sadiq khan i'm now racist don't you know isn't that wonderful you know, no one can critique anything anymore. It's absolute madness. Yes, there is a problem with the culture in the Met. Yes, there is a problem with the culture in a lot of police forces. It's not just the Met. But when you have a culture, when you have a manner of doing things, that way is built up over a great number of years. It's not an overnight, oh shit, what's happened? It's in built rot that has existed for probably 20 years. And no amount of screaming and shouting about racism, misogyny, or anything else of that nature is gonna do any good. At the end of the day, you've got a bunch of blokes and a bunch of women trying to do a job to, you know, the best of their ability. And unfortunately, with this drive of, we need 20,000 police officers and we need them now, are people being checked thoroughly in the way that they actually should be? Our standards in place to make sure the behaviour is the way they should be? Is discipline in place to make sure these officers are disciplined in the way they should be? Ah, uh -uh. I can answer no to a lot of those. We have a generation of coppers who have been brought up by a generation of people that do not have the same values that we once had in our generation. Yes, I, I'm a youngster, I know, but my my parents are more linked to that previous generation that had a lot more respect and everything going for them than some of them do now and then these creep up the ranks eventually and that rot and that culture spreads so yes maybe it is maybe it is time to you know get in other blood and really look at the procedures and the training and the recruitment of these officers and look at the management what's going on up there why are we so worried about political bullshit and political correctness when officers need to be out on the streets pulling criminals in like teenagers having a fight on a bus with knives in broad daylight or people waving a gun at a motorcycle cop which i'll bring you later it's very, very worrying, and these politicians do not help. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm off. To Lou.